Doug Outdoors here. Today, I'm gonna to take you guys out on a little venture. Um, I went out and done a little fishing for catfish. It was the first time I went out this year for actually big catfish. I did try channel cat and bullhead, so I can't say I didn't do that. But uh, this is the first time I went out for the bigger fish in the catfish family. But anyways, I actually done a little bait run while I was there too and I uh, seen a lot of shad pop in the water like crazy and so I turned around and I thought well I'll throw a cast net and I tried to do a little skipjack fishing didn't have no luck with that but I'm not going to tell you about the shad because we did catch some well I guess I told you but anyways you guys stay tuned and also we had something out there that was going on I don't know what uh I'll show you that video here in a little bit as well so like I said stay tuned and hopefully you enjoyed my little video. So here we go, folks. We're getting all ready here. Try to catch us some shad where we can freeze it and everything. To have some good catfish bait on down the road here. So uh, as you've seen, I'm winding it all up real good. Make sure it ain't all knotted up. Bouncing my net. Uh, pick up about maybe a quarter down from the uh, the top of the barrel, what it's called. And then pick up a loop with your same hand you got your stuff in. And then hold it with your left hand, as you can see. And then you just fling it and make it spin as fast as you can. You hold your left hand, the one end of it in your left hand as you throw it, and then spin it. As you can see there, it's a good little... Example how good it cast it out there real good and as soon as you feel it hit bottom yank on it start drilling it in because if you don't the shad will come out there so right here I've got quite a bit of shad in my cast net I'll show you here real quick uh, I caught uh, several little ones and I tossed a bunch of them back and I wasn't going to show you this whole video but I caught some real decent one that was about the size of my hand so as you can see there, that ain't too shabby. So this next clip I'm going to show you guys here real quick, this little video. When me and my wife pulled in to go fishing and stuff, for myself to go fishing, but um, we noticed a lot of cop cars, news reporters, and all that in uh, by this big, the major boat ramp over there. And so I was sitting there, I got it set up, caught me some shad, as you guys seen, and next thing I know, this boat come up through there with those lights flashing, like a cop car, and then I realized it was a police boat, as you guys can see there, and I don't know if they're looking for a body, or if they're doing training, or what, but out of respect of them in my mind, I thought, I'm not going to show this if they do pull a body off the boat. And you can see people in uh, dive suits and stuff like that. Because this one with the life jacket on here in a minute, he's going to pull off with a, uh, you can see there, a big tank. Uh, and he was switching them out for their um, respirators or whatever they use when they dive, whatever you want to call it, uh, scuba gear. But anyways, this up here, this guy with the black and blue jacket on that's taking pictures and videos he was actually one of the news cameramen guys uh, that was there and again you know i don't know what was going on um i really don't want to know because you know uh you really don't want to see somebody turn around and go out like that because that is something that's really just horrible for them and their family you know to lose somebody like that so with that being said i just wanted to show you guys this little video little clip of the, what what I had going on out there when I was fishing and again I wasn't there to just be nosy or something because I did have an officer pull up talk to me for a little bit and that's one reason why I didn't ask him or anything because again it's none of my business you got a lot of people out there like to stick their nose in people's business So this next little clip here I'm going to show you guys has to do with my stinky fish, as that wife calls it. Uh, we're getting ready to 
dry my shad off. I actually cleaned them all up. Uh, put them in ice cold water, folks. Don't put them in warm water or lukewarm water. You want to put them in ice cold water. And about freezes your fingers off, it feels like. So what I'm doing is I'm rinsing them off, getting all the slime and stuff off of them. And then I'm going to set them out on these little paper towels here. I'm showing you guys what I'm doing. Um, you will see my lips and stuff move. I accidentally deleted what I was talking about. So, and again, I want to remind you guys as well. Um, it is illegal to transport live shad from a body of water you caught them from. You have to either use them live there or you have to kill them before you bring them home to do this. So, don't put them in a bucket of water because DNR is really going to throw little red flags and say, hey. What are you doing with those in live water? So, as you can see here, I got three other little spots because I didn't catch a lot of shad big ones. There were a lot of little ones there, as you guys seen in a video, and I also talked a little bit about that as well. So, the biggest ones that I caught were a little bigger than my hand. They were probably about maybe eight inches long. So, and I caught several of them. And then uh, I caught several little ones that were about the size of my hand length, about six inches long. So, as you can see there, uh, getting them all prepared, getting them ready, pulling them out of the bucket of ice cold water uh, to dry them off real good. So, this takes a little while. And also, if you notice, I got a little bucket there. Uh, it's like a container bucket filled up with ice cold water. That's a good idea, folks out there, for you guys, uh, to keep your wife not upset with you. I'm telling you, she won't be so mad at you when you use stuff like this, especially if you're throwing dead fish around in your house and it stinks because she hates that stinky stuff. You know, guys, or we got to be good to our wives. So, but anyways, I'm right here just like, again, just clean them give them a little bath wash out the slime and so right here i'm actually getting ready to start putting them in the baggies as you can see here to uh run my little um what do you want to call that dumb thing i can't think of what it's called now but uh it seals up the bags and takes out all the air so that way they'll last a good while food saver that's what it's called so just have, the only thing you do just get you a cheap one to do this with. And this is one we use personally around here around the house. But uh, I cleaned it and just, you know, sterilized it and everything after I got done. And the counter and everything as well. Always make sure you clean up. Even though you've seen that paper tail hit the floor, I actually picked that up after I was done and took out the trash. That way that smell wouldn't be in the house. That way my wife would love me and maybe let me go back out and do some more of this stuff. So. And this little burger is a little chore. I kind of like this one. You can pick these up at Walmart for around 40 bucks, And they, it seems to work really good. You just push down. It's a simple thing. Push down. Comes on and runs. And then this little red light will come on. And a green light that says remove your hands. And then it will vacuum seal it. And then it will seal it up. And you're going to see that here in a bit. So there you go, folks. Looks really good. I think it's going to last. I also put dates on them as well, so that way I know when I caught them and done this. So there you go, folks. I hope this video helps you out out there. You know, I don't know what they were doing. I don't know if they were doing training runs or what they were doing out there, but they kept coming up the creek. When I got there, they were all gone. They were actually all out on the boat somewhere down the creek down towards Ohio River. Uh, I don't know if there was somebody they were looking for for search and rescue or if they were looking for body or a car or what. But I do know um, I had an officer came over and check me out, make sure I was all right. And uh, I talked to him a little bit. We kind of joked around and then he left. So I didn't, didn't really feel like it was my place to ask, you know, just for the sake if they are looking for a body, you know. Or something like that so that's one reason why and I also was very you know watching myself you know just in case they did show up with a body on that boat the boats that I was showing you out there and there was like six of them that actually came up there there was one that was really big massive 
Uh, it looked like a big tugboat or something you would see. Um, but he pulled up in there. He had three engines on the back of the thing. And they were getting off. And there must have been about 20 to 25 officers out there. Uh, so, again, I don't know what was going on or anything. Don't have that information. So, But if somebody does know about it, uh, please turn around and leave a thing down in a box down below uh, if you can. Uh, let me know what what you thought uh, what they were doing or something. But anyways, again, you know, I had a good time out there. It was just mud everywhere. I mean, you guys seen it in the video. Uh, my wife, she had to go off to use the restroom. And so I told her, uh, called and told her, hey, why don't you pick some trash bags up? Because that way I can put it down in the back end of her vehicle. And so that was really a good idea because when I got back done fishing and stuff I mean I had mud all over me and on my poles everywhere and I got so aggravated with it so I decided well enough's enough let's get out of here when they're getting as good because I don't know if they're going to shut it down or what they were doing because uh, I did ask when we first got there if the ramps were open um, if the docks were fine if I go out there and try to catch them shad and the guys were like yeah you're fine you go out ahead but I didn't ask them or anything. And also, when they did come in on the boats, there they were. They had a lot of them had the scuba stuff on, you know, um, you know the wetsuits and everything. And they were taking tanks up to a, a big trailer that they were pulling behind a vehicle and switching out tanks. So I don't know exactly what was going on. So with that being said, I'm just going to end it there and just say. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for the ones that subscribe to it. If you haven't, please do so. And tell a friend, family, and neighbor about my YouTube channel. I surely would appreciate it. And like I always say, God bless and good luck to your upcoming hunting, fishing, camping here in 2021. We'll catch you guys till next time.